And MSNBC keeps you up to the minute. Celebration in the streets of Baghdad now. People rejoicing after the former Iraqi dictator was sentenced today to death by hanging. A trembling Saddam Hussein reacted to the verdict in defiance. Hussein was convicted for a village massacre nearly 25 years ago. The White House says President Bush will make a statement later this afternoon on the verdict, and we're going to bring it to you live as soon as it happens. And here at home, Democrats and Republicans have their sights on a congressional majority, and several key races remain virtual ties still at this hour. Joining us from Washington, D.C., is Brad Blakeman, former deputy assistant to the President Bush, and also joining us from Washington, D.C., Democratic strategist Cliff Schechter. Cliff, let me start with you. Sure. Because, you know, Saddam Hussein has now been sentenced to death. Will this give Republicans a boost, a sign of progress in the war? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think this will affect the election at all, unless we find out Ted Haggart was uh, was secretly visiting Saddam Hussein, too. <laughs> uh, as far as I see, look, the Republican Party still has, has cut and run from protecting our troops. Uh, they're not giving our troops body armor. Uh, they're not, uh, they have no plan for us to win in Iraq. We had over 100 troops killed last month. 16 different intelligence agencies say that it's made us more dangerous uh, in the world. You know, there are more terrorists in the world now. And I still would like to ask Brad, at the end of everything, where's Osama? So the truth be told, this is this will do nothing. Uh, this is they, they set this up so they'd have a nice PR point. Brad, let up. me bring in Brad. Brad, well, what do you let, think? Let me let me answer Cliff. Where's Osama? Osama's on the run. He can't do any more damage to the United States because he doesn't have the infrastructure. And quite frankly, Cliff, and you know that, if Brad, you're right? president, yeah, if you're president. Okay. Bill Clinton would have had the opportunity, which he had, to take him out. We wouldn't be talking about your Osama president today. tore a board and even tried to take him Bill out. Clinton Brad, you're such a liar. It's, it's it's difficult to it's even a, answer your questions. Your president had him cornered at Tora Bora and did nothing. Your president didn't <laughs> respond to the coal attack. Your no, president sat reading my pet goat our, our for five minutes while you guys let's say, let's say focused on the Saddam because our Brad, was less according than to the latest poll by Time Magazine, that there's a new poll on Time Magazine. Sixty-five percent of Americans disapprove of the. Way that President Bush is handling the war in Iraq. Only 31% approve of his handling. Well, you you know, see, given that, is any news out of Iraq, you know, reminding them of bad news for the Republicans, uh, Brad? Uh, Rita, absolutely, this is good news because it validates what President Bush has said all along. And that is, we're going to take them to justice. And he has. Saddam's fate is at the end of a noose. Well, he's no longer, the rest of the he's world. no longer able, he's no longer able to threaten, torture, and kill his own people or threaten the rest of the world. This validates what President Bush has said. And he Unlike wasn't the able Democrats, to back then which either, is cut and run to leave. And okay. there was a seven-year difference okay, between Brad. World Trade Center 1 and 2 because the Democrats made us a okay, weak okay, nation. Okay, go ahead. You, you guys, the, the truth of the matter is what, what Brad doesn't want to say, 16 intelligence agencies, which are frankly a lot smarter than he is and a lot smarter than President Bush, have said that this has created more terrorism. So nice try, Brad. The truth of the matter that's is baloney. they created you know more terrorism. That's baloney. You failed to but, but Cliff, will, Laden, you give, will you give the and, administration credit and, that they got this guy, tried him, there was democracy, we saw it, it working in, in, in Iraq? There's not democracy in Iraq. Iraq the trial. Is, is, what about the trial? The trial is great, but Iraq is blowing up around us. Over 100 American troops died. Rita, there. The, 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 Rita, local the Democrats I'm give finish, the Republicans Brad. no local credit government there said they're not gonna for even, anything. I'm going to finish, Brad. Good try. The local government there said they're not going to even keep track of casualties who are dying anymore because so many are dying. Brad's obviously gotten into Ted Haggard's personal stash because I don't know where he's getting his information from, but it's certainly not coming from a place You of have an unholy sense. relationship with Haggard. You keep bringing him up. What's, That's because uh, you, you guys have more sex scandals than you have actual accomplishments oh, between yeah? him and talk Mark about Foley Bill Clinton, who and Don Sherwood for having between, sex with an intern. You guys, let's, Mark let's Foley, talk about some of the races. Between you guys. Him let me and Mark go to you, Foley and Don Cliff, Sherwood. Hang on one you second. Got, Jim Cliff, Gibbons, Cliff, Cliff, hold on. Pathetic. Let me talk about some of the tight races here, so we're going to go through a Trying few of them. In Tennessee, Brad. Republican Bob Corker is ahead. This is pretty incredible. In the latest Mason Dixon Tennessee Papers poll, we just saw this 12%. Why is Harold Ford Jr. well known? Well, like, why is he slipping? Uh, is that for me? That's for you, Cliff. Oh, it's easy. It's because Brad and his friends love to race bait. They get up and they <laughs> pretend that they actually care about all people. And Ken Mellon goes and gives his little sorry speech to the NAACP, claiming they're sorry for the Southern strategy. It's just more of the Southern strategy. They, they put up, they put up a racist ad. They attack for it. And the truth is, is most of the polls. Uh, you know, Brad, are, are, Brad, let me show Brad, because we're showing the video. This is a confront, that confrontation when he confronted Corker. Let's play it up a little bit. Close, Rita. Kate Bailey Hutchinson, who I traveled to Iraq with, she uh, I came to talk about ethics, and I have a press conference, and I think that uh, 
it's a true sign of desperation that you would pull your bus up when I'm having a press conference. No, sir, so. I, I, heard, I can never find you anywhere in the state. Oh, I, I, I've been, have I've been to... I was in Jackson uh, last night. I saw but your me, we know, uh, Cliff, this, when you see this, it seems like his numbers went down right after this. Did I'm that not, hurt him? I'm like, no, no, I, I, I completely Listen, believe hey, Cliff, it was... The, it Cliff, was, take I a breath for a second. I completely... I was asking... What, what you're saying I completely here, believe Rita, it was the racist an, ad is, that did is that. It's an act of desperation on the part of, of Mr. Ford. And what you're seeing here, with the polls now moving to, to uh, the Republican, is you're seeing that it's substance over style. Brad, you have you a guy Brad, in an you empty must be suit, in such another Mr. World, Ford, you who's going to lose. Dreaming. Your polls, uh, John Kyle right now is going to lose his race because we're catching up in Arizona. You're going to lose in Montana. Claire McCaskill is pulled ahead of talent. You guys have a new scandal every week. Let's see, is it Rick Renzi this week? Oh, no. Is it John yeah, I don't Porter? Know. I don't oh, no, know what wait. you're smoking. Is it Ted Haggard this I, I week? I don't know what you're oh, wait, smoking, no. but I keep the cork in the champagne, you, you guys Cliff. Have, you guys are the most pathetic bunch of criminal pedophiles. <laughs> you can't do anything right. Ooh, let me get Brad to respond to that, Brad. You cover for Brad, those are pretty strong words. How could I let Brad respond? How could I let Brad respond? How could I let Brad Have fun, have fun with your 10 new prison buddies next year, Brad, because between <laughs> Bob Nay and Tom DeLay and, Ju and Doolittle and outrageous. Burns, you're all going to prison. Good job. And, and Cliff, let's get, let, let's get Brad to respond to all those things, Brad. Look, take it away. How could, how could you respond? That's absolute nonsense. This guy is on crack. I mean, how can you, how can you possibly <laughs> drug, make all here, those... Brad. Go see all those Pat allegations, again. which are totally Rush untrue. Limbaugh's, have you gotten into Rush Limbaugh's stuff now, too, Brad? I'm not sure. Oh, that's right. He's another family values guy on your side. All right, right? both of you, yeah. we're going to give you guys a few seconds. What do you think is going to happen election night? Let's hear from two of you guys. Let me start with Brad, and then I'll go to you, Cliff. Brad? Uh, what I think is going to happen is I think the Republicans are going to hold a very slim lead in the House, and I think the Senate is going to be the same way. I think these are going to be very, very close elections. I think it's going to be a late night Tuesday, but ultimately I think we will uh, retain both the House and the Senate by very, very slim majorities. Cliff, what's your response, and do you think we'll know who won by Tuesday night, Cliff? My response is Brad says I'm on crack. It's one of the funniest things I've ever heard what he just said. Um, I think the Democrats, it's either going to come out even in the Senate or we'll be up by one seat in the House. We're going to blow them away by about about 30 to 40 seats, and we're going to pick up about seven to 10 governorships, and a number more Republican criminals are going to go to jail over the next six months. Those are my predictions. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to have to be the last word. Thank you, very spirited, both of you. Thank you, Rita. Thank you, both guys. Thank you.